All right, so it's way too easy to make threes. You can just constantly make threes in 2K22, uh, which is the exact opposite of 2K21 and especially 2K20. 2K20, where you could barely make any three. Uh, instead of creating some sort of a balance, a reasonable balance, they went to the total opposite side of the spectrum. Now you could just throw them up all day, especially if you're wide open. If you're If you're wide open... You can make five threes in a row on the regular, at least three in a row on the regular, all right? Um, this was just confirmed watching 2K TV because they're interviewing a guy who I guess is the programmer, or, uh, some sort of developer, the Asian cat, and he said it verbatim, it's way easier to make threes. Uh, I, believe, I believe he specified even when you're open. Right, so it's way, way, it's way too easy, way too easy. Every game I play, it, you know, I thought it was just computer until I started shooting them, and I'm like, damn, you can just throw these bitches up all day and just make them all motherfucking day. I'm probably gonna tweak it in the sliders, something that seems to be something that seems more realistic to me because this is just. I don't even like making it that often. It just, it just don't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. See, I only missed one, and there was some defense there. But I made three in a row before I missed one. No, I missed the first one and made three in a row after that. Computer just made three in a row, right? This has been pretty much every game I've played. I played two games back-to-back -back where two different players on the, on the on computer's team went five in a row that is not realistic that's not you know hopefully they can see that you know they get complaints and they'll patch it they get complaints and they'll finally patch it fix it up it's straight that you actually get to make them more frequently because I, I know a 2k21 you damn sure couldn't make a, a shot a three off the dribble like that like if you're moving uh, a moving shot, especially off the dribble, maybe if you're catching it off a of movement, but off the dribble, it's like oh hell no, you might as well be shooting from half court with a blindfold on, right? That's what you might as well have just been doing because you can hardly, you know, you have to be standing still for most of the shots, most of the threes, and um, in two K twenty one now two K twenty, it didn't matter if you were standing butt ass naked with nobody else in the gym. You was just there by yourself on the court alone, and you still weren't gonna make it. A lot of times, I can, I can, I can. Man, it's just ridiculous. And I barely played it, but the few times that I did play it, I was turned off by it. Like, wow, you can barely make an open three in this shit. So now they just took it the whole other direction. I mean, if in general, to me personally, other people disagree, but to me personally, it feels like a better game. It definitely is a better game to me. And not just by a little bit significantly. It, it just feels a lot better. But computer it just allowed to go on these crazy ass runs. And this three shit is just ridiculous. Also, you're more rewarded on defense when you're holding good defense. He also mentioned that in an interview. Uh, if you jump on time for a block, I didn't even know he had did this and said this in an interview. I was just saying it to my cousin. What was that? Yesterday? Because he hadn't played yet. I'm like, yo, your defense is far more rewarded. If you, anytime you jump on time for a block, for the most part, you're actually going to block the damn ball. They're not going to force you to go into this animation where you, you know, you kind of look like you're pretending to try to block it and you miss the block. No, you actually throwing shit now. Right? So, that's another good thing. They reward your defense a lot more. So, in general, it's a better game. I cannot lie. I was not expecting this. If you've been looking at my other videos, you know how much I shit on 2K. I'm not just saying this, right, just to be saying it. To me, it's a better game. They improved it by a long shot. But you already know 2K is 2K. 2K is always going to be 2K. It's always going to cheat. Because this is basically what they have the algorithm in the game for. It, do, it doesn't need an algorithm. It just needs an AI. 
but they have an algorithm to kind of keep things, you know, to, to try to keep you at bay, to prevent you from just going parabolic and just getting the hell off and being unstoppable. So they, they you know, they implement the algorithm for that reason. Uh, computer, another thing, computer, like uh, some dudes been saying it, computer's defense. Uh, what can I say? They're more, they're more alert, all right? I won't necessarily say that their defense uh, is, is cheating, you know, but they're more alert. Besides the, besides the typical things that the algorithm does to cheat, their defense seems to be better, and that's actually probably a good thing. They, they play with a higher defensive IQ, all right? I noticed in 2K21, it was just easy to run around the court and just get an open three, especially on my, my career. That's not the case anymore in this one. If you, you know, uh, they see you approaching the three, trying to get an open one, they hawking you, right? So you gotta, you know, you gotta kind of be more slick about it. So that's another thing that I actually appreciate. Computers defense, uh, they they play with a higher uh, AI intelligence, artificial intelligence on defense, which was necessary. And I believe them implementing that, which is what I've always been saying, them implementing that caused them to be able to reel back a little bit on how much they script the game to cheat. Because like I always say, the reason the algorithm is cheating is because computer plays, computer is not able to actually defeat you based upon merit, IQ, you know, just basketball intelligence. So they have to they have to compensate by programming the algorithm to cheat. Now, computers' defensive IQ is a bit higher, so it it feels a lot less scripted. It's still and that's saying a lot because it's still heavily scripted. It's just nowhere near as bad as two K twenty one was. Another issue I got in this. Um, the turnovers. It seems, it seems to be a bit easier to just get turnovers back to back. That's some bullshit. All right, and that's and that's more the algorithm doing that. The algorithm is actually doing that, causing you to lose the ball more often than you would have in previous two Ks. But that's my take on the shooting, you know, and various other things. We'll wrap it up right here. Peace.